Greetings folks, Steve here, and tonight we were planning to go to Yellow Belly to do some racing at the track. Yellow Belly is usually open at 3 o'clock on Sundays. Today's Thursday on a holiday week. So I got us to the track about uh, four hours too early. Yellow Belly did let me leave the car and trailer there. I got Matthew with me and Matt. And uh, anyway, we got there a little early. So uh, we went to get some food at a restaurant, hung out for a little bit, started hearing a funny noise in the tire, like sounded like it was stuck in the tire. And then on the highway, the tire went completely flat. So now we're on the side of the road, putting a uh, spare tire on the truck so we can make it back to the track. So we were on our way back there when this happened. Anyway, here soon we're gonna be at the track and uh, try to make some passes in Old Goldie. All right, we're in the lanes at Yellow Belly. Um, just gonna put our first per pass down. I'm targeting like no boost on the launch. How much do you weigh? 2550. The all wheel drive? Okay. I weigh 4,000 pounds. I know. <laughs> you still stock turbos? Uh, something like that. Okay. Got any money? Uh, not my first pass. Maybe a nice pass if it's close. Yeah. Alright, I'm going up against an Infinity Q60. Guy's real secretive about his setup, so he's probably got some work done. Here trying to grudge race and whatnot, but this is gonna be our first pass on a soft launch. We're running 12 psi in the tires, and uh, got the boost ramping in gradually. So hopefully I don't gotta lift and do any of that nonsense. The bottle pressure is gonna be low for sure. I hope I'll be able to get out of the whole clean. This guy's all-wheel drive. Oh, is this the 2JZ? Good pass on both sides there. So we gotta work on. Alright, 
back in line again. I'm going to be racing this Gen 6 Camaro. He's pretty stock, though. He's on a tire, at least. But uh, I shouldn't have any trouble with him. I'm kind of wanting to ch call out someone a little harder. <laughs> applause from the crowd. That doesn't happen often. Nice hit. Awesome night at the track. Yellow Belly is so much fun. I just I can't say that enough. Um, definitely a place you got to check out if you love racing. A lot of just regular street cars go out there. It's super inviting for anyone to just come out and run their track. The track surface is not great. That's part of the fun for me is it makes a car that isn't really making a whole ton of power competitive against cars that are actually making a lot more. The all-wheel drive cars have like a kind of a um, a real advantage out there, but then when my car goes out there and does really well, it's very rewarding. I love it out there. Uh, I think what we learned at Yellow Belly is that the suspension is set up pretty nice on the Z. The way that the ladder bars all landed with the rear suspension geometry and the way everything went when I did the 8.8 swap in this, um, you know, I did my due diligence to try to guess close, but I think it actually is really in a good spot. And you know, a lot of that is coming from just the way it acts on a crappy service like Yellow Belly. One thing I have still yet to do that I want to spend some time doing is take Draggy and find just some raw concrete in an empty parking lot in some industrial part of town and try just some zero prep, zero anything launches and see what all it takes to slow this car down to the point where I can maintain traction out of the hole. I have a one, two leave trans brake so I can get up on the trans brake in second gear and that's what you would do in like just an extremely poor, like marbly, just bare crap surface where just traction seems impossible. Is you'd be using that type of, that'd be a strategy you would use to get out smooth and get into the power a little bit later. So that's something I want to experiment with some more. That's really going to tell us what this car needs. But as for right now, really stoked how the night went. Can't wait to go back to Yellow Belly. Not sure what I have planned next. I really need to spend some time going through the car top to bottom, 
inside and out, open up the trans, like drop the trans pan, cut open the oil filter, check every single electrical connection and ground on the car. The car's made several passes down the track now. I need to go through and make sure everything's still in the up and up so I don't end up at the track having some sort of issue on the sidelines. But that's gonna do it for this week. Thank you guys for tagging along and definitely like and subscribe to follow the action a little bit more. See you guys later.